Hi, in this video, we're going to prove the proportional intercept theorem for grade 12 Euclidean geometry. So we want to prove that AP over PB, as we can see in the diagram, is equal to AQ over QC. So we start with a construction. We're going to join BQ and CP. Next. From point Q, we're going to draw a height, and we're going to name it H1, which is perpendicular to AB. And then we're going to draw from P another height. We're going to name that one H2, which is perpendicular to AC. So we're ready to start with our proof. So we're going to work on our left-hand side, and remember on the left-hand side of what we're trying to prove, we're trying to prove AP over PB. So we're going to take triangle APQ. We're going to look at triangle APQ. And we're going to look at triangle, if we look at the bottom, PB. So we're going to look at triangle PBQ. So triangle APQ over triangle PBQ. Now we know the area of a triangle, right angle triangle, would be half base times height. So if we look at triangle APQ, it's half AP which is our base, and the height is H1. And if we take triangle PBQ, PBQ, it's half base, which is PB, times the height, which is H1. Your half and half will cancel, your H1 and H1 will cancel, and we're left with AP over PB. And that's what we want to get on our left-hand side. Now we move on to the right-hand side of what we're trying to prove. So we're going to take triangle AQ, P over triangle QCP. And in the same way, remember our area formula is half base times height. So area of triangle APQ, APQ is half base, which is AQ, times the height, which is H2. And the area of triangle QCP, QCP will be half the base, which is QC, times the height which we, are, we have drawn to be H2. Notice the halves cancel off, the H2s cancel off, and we're left with AQ over QC, which is what we want on the left-hand side. Now, if we investigate this closely, we can conclude that a triangle APQ and triangle APQ, those are common triangles, and then we have triangle PBQ is equal to triangle QCP. And the reason why these two triangles are equal, if we look at triangle PBQ and QCP, QCP, they have the same base called PQ, and they lie between the same parallel lines, so we can say same height. So once again, we see that P triangle APQ, and, and we have triangle APQ here, which is common, and we're now concluding that triangle the area of triangle PBQ is equal to the area of triangle QCP. Therefore, we can conclude that if we look at the left-hand side, the area of triangle APQ over the area of triangle PBQ is now equal to the area of triangle APQ over triangle QCP because we look at the top, those are common triangles, and if we look at the bottom, Above, we stated that they are equal, same base, and same height. Now, if this part is equal to that part, therefore, we can conclude now that AP over PB has to be equal to AQ over QC. And that is the proof for you. When we're using this proof, as a reason, we can state prop theorem, and we name the parallel lines, in this case, PQ, is parallel to BC. So when you use this as a reason, this is our reference.